guys welcome back to another vlog today is tuesday and it's also valentine's day so we're gonna be going out to dinner tonight we have a fun date night planned but i just wanted to take you guys along for the day with me last night i got so much sleep i went to bed at like 9 45 and then i woke up at 8 30. i had alarm set for like 6 6 30 like i am one of those people that sets like five different alarms and i could I could not get up for the life of me. So last night, I think I got too much sleep. So it's either like I'm not getting enough sleep or I'm getting way too much. So I'm like, okay. Anyways, um, Cotter just left to go meet up with one of our painters um, on one of our units this morning. So I think I'm gonna go and get some Starbucks for him and I as a little Valentine's Day treat. So when he gets home, I got some Starbucks. Um, so. So yeah, I'm super excited for dinner tonight. We have reservations at one of our favorite spots called Livery. So anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for the day, semi, kind of. Um, and then I'm gonna go get some starbs. And I clearly am needing it. I like don't really get circle like dark circles under my eyes very often. And like they're very prominent. <laughs> Um, go brush my hair, um, and yeah, all the things, skincare and whatnot. So, yeah, good morning, and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Let's get the day started. Can we see you get a Starbucks too? <laughs> the lips. <laughs> oh my god, he's just standing. <laughs> oh, he just got right in the. Oh, is that yummy? Oh my god, his eyes are like... <laughs> is that good? Oh you haven't had one of these god. in a long time, buddy. So cute. Okay, well, as I was getting ready, Connor comes home and has... He lied to me about seeing a painter and got me these beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And then he also got me Starbucks. <laughs> so um, I'm not going anymore. But it was so sweet. Got me a chestnut praline, my favorite. And oh, I just love these flowers. They're so pretty. Thank you, babe, that was so sweet. <laughs> It's a little bit later. I just showered and then I also fake tanned. So I've got a fresh tan on. I honestly don't know if you can really tell, but I was so pale. I had taken a couple days off of self tanning and I just kind of wanted to like reset. So I just did a fresh tan. This is the tan that I've been using. And um, this is the ultra dark. This is mine tan. And I just love the scent, it's coconut scented, and this is their express tan in their mousse. It's their ultra dark, and so they have an hour express tan, so you can choose like how dark you wanna be. So their hour is dark, two hours, three hours plus. Um, well, obviously the longer that you keep it on, so I would say three to four hours is gonna give you your darkest tan, and then you can rinse it off and you will have your darkest results. Um, I feel like a big thing that a lot of people don't know is um, self tan like the color that you initially put on is kind of almost like a guide for your tan like that's just cosmetic coloring it's not supposed to stay on you um, and that is what's going to cause blotchiness and really really dry almost like irritated skin and it's just not going to look good. And like, let's be real, like I will like soak my tans for like 12, 14 hours. Sometimes I will literally have on my cosmetic bronzer tan um, literally for more than a day. And 
that's going to give you that like initial that instant gratification like that instant bronze and um, I actually used to work at a skincare company. I worked in the SPF sector, but they also had like spray tans. They literally had a spray tan booth. I would spray tan like once or twice a week. Like I feel like I learned a lot about self tanners and things like that and what like ingredients that I really like. So um, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge on self tan. Got this tanner I love. You can get this on Amazon and it's just so good. It's gonna give you a really, really nice natural color. I put a little bit on my face with like a little, um, you can use like a blush brush. Um, you can just buy them off Amazon, like super cheap. Use those to put them on your face. I wouldn't recommend using a mitt on your face because that's what's going to make you break out on your face. But um, so if you are wanting to get just like a little bit of this on your face you could use like a little brush or something like that i actually have special ones that i use but i lost one of them so i just was using a blush brush that i never use with makeup so you can use that but yeah so i'm just getting ready now um it's only 4 15 right now um and i i'm not gonna like do my makeup or anything yet i just wanted to shower and get myself tan marinating <laughs> before tonight we have reservations at 8 15 so Still got a little bit of time, but I also wanted to film getting ready a little bit um, and not rush a ton because usually we make reservations at like 6.15, like 6.45 if we can. And they were out of their early reservations because it's Valentine's Day. So we're doing 8.15, which I'm not mad about actually because I was like, I really want to get like a picture together. Um, and I don't want to be like sprinting out the door like, oh my God, we're going to make a, or miss a reservation or whatever. So, and yeah, so I also wanted to do like an honorable mention on the jewelry that I've been wearing. Um, this triple four necklace that I wear all the time. I think it's literally been in every single video I've ever <laughs> taken. Um, this newer necklace, is, these are both from Amazon. Earrings are from Amazon. All of my um, bracelets that I have on are Amazon or are from um, Electric Picks, which is like one of my favorite jewelry brands. But yeah, I wanted to do an honorable mention on all of these because I go in the shower with them every single day. I am washing my hands, I'm doing the dishes, all these things with water, and none of them have tarnished. So um, if you're looking for some good jewelry, I will make sure to have all of these down below. And I also have them all in my Amazon storefront and then whatever is not from Amazon, I have on my LDK. So make sure all of that is available. Um, but yeah, I love these little hoops. I got these forever ago and they're just some of my favorites. They're just so simple and so good. Um, also, I did my nails and then my nail popped off. I'm so bummed. Um, but yeah, I got my, these nails. These are actually Kiss Press On nails. They, so just ignore that that one. But they do look so good with a little tan and I'm obsessed with them. So I'm going to let my hair air dry. Actually, I think I might do blow dryer because mm, I think I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and then I'll do a blow dryer. But yeah, just picked out my outfit for tonight. I literally, Oh my god. I mean the extra our extra bedroom, which is my closet My office like our storage room Everything is in an absolute disaster And also our bedroom. I literally was going like this with like all my clothes like trying everything on Like no, no, no. I literally tried like 20 things on didn't like anything and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna wear this I was trying a little too hard to like make something out of something that just wasn't gonna work um so I'm wearing this like really cute little blazer dress which like I feel like I'm always wearing blazers but it's still pretty cold it's not like spring summer vibe yet so I don't want to wear a ton of color and I really don't have that much color so I need to start investing in a little bit more color I think I don't know. It just like doesn't feel like me. Anyways, I'm gonna need to do a like total reset video because I feel like the past couple of weeks I've just been so out of it. I can't stay in like any type of routine and I know that's a big issue with you know not motivation but determination and like I've just been out of it. I, I can't describe it. I honestly think a lot of it has to do with um, not getting into a routine with going to 
um, the grocery store and just having things ready and available that are like very healthy. Um, we've just been going out a lot and I feel like that's just super easy to fall into that trap and then you just feel gross and then it's just like a constant downward spiral. So yeah, I feel like that's been playing a big part in it. So tomorrow we're going to do a huge grocery shop. So this is just going to be like one daily vlog. I'm also going to film tomorrow. So while I'm letting my hair dry and everything, I think I'm going to go pick up a little bit downstairs because we've just been throwing our coats like down on the chairs and stuff downstairs. And I have a bunch of like random PR packages downstairs that I just need to bring up. Um, so I'm going to go clean up downstairs a little bit. So that way when we come home from dinner, it's not going to be a disaster and we can watch like a Netflix show. Hi guys. Okay, so it's much later and I cleaned up so much. I did all the dishes. I literally went on a cleaning spree. So it's 7.15 right now. So I just finished doing my hair. I'm going to get back to finishing up my makeup. But I did want to show you guys some of... I'm going to move this. But I did want to show you guys some of the products that I use that I absolutely have been loving. Okay, so this is the foundation that I've been using recently. This is the all Hours Foundation by YSL and I got sent this in a gifting and oh my gosh it's so good. This is the color MW7 so that's what I have on now and then I have like blush, highlighter, um, bronzer on right now. The blush, I actually just put the blush in the other room but the blush that I've been using lately that I love is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the new Pillow Talk blush wand and it's the matte one um i really love it because i already have like a highlighter that i use so it kind of balances out and i really like it and it just is so seamless I, I just really think it's really pretty and it's not like too overpowering i don't like a super super blushy look but i do like it to give it some color on my face and i recently got these off of amazon i got a pack of like i think there's 10 or 15 and i think it was like maybe ten dollars i don't even know i feel like it was like seven dollars um but i've been seeing these everywhere and they're just really great for patting your powder i think this one has a little bit left over on it um but i love this i haven't put on any um of my eye stuff yet like i already did my wing but i haven't put on any like mascara or eyeshadow so i'll show you guys that in a sec but i've been using this lash paradise so i always use my tried and true i feel like this really helps with the length of my eyelashes and then if i want a little bit extra like density i don't know if that's like the word for it um if i just want them to be a little bit darker and make them pop more i'll use a little bit of this on top and oh my gosh it's so good that's what i used to do with my better than sex mascara and then i ran out and i just didn't buy another tube and it was honestly i need to get another one because it was really really good i feel like this is not one of uh, i feel like this is not a mascara that you use on its own and that's also how I felt about the Better Than Sex mascara. I felt like you needed something under it. I don't know if maybe a primer would help too, but I just always use this one. And then, so this one's called the Clump Crusher Extensions, and it's just so good and it's so cheap. It's like seven dollars. Like all of my other makeup that I've been using recently is pretty up to date from anything that I've shared on like my LDK or um, just anything that I've shared on my socials. Um, one thing that I have been loving as well on days that more for like day makeup or I'm not wanting to wear a ton of makeup during the day, these Merit sticks. These, um, So these are the uh, Perfecting Complexion sticks. I keep wanting to call them a foundation stick, which they technically are, but you can use them almost as like a little conceal. Um, and they're like these little and I think they're just amazing. This is the one that I use more for like that matches my skin tone perfectly. This you can almost use as like a little bit of contour, a little bronziness. Um, I just love, love these like melt and feel seamless on my skin and don't feel super heavy. So I love these. Um, I've heard really good things about Merit's blushes and just other things in their line um i think they're really really great brands so love those i don't know if i've shared this on my youtube but um i've been using the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze that you guys already know but this brow pop by kosas it's a 
liner and I've been using this to line my or not line my eyebrows but like fill in my eyebrows and I really love the color I feel like it's really really good it's probably one of my favorite pencils that I've used for my brows I just feel like I can get more coverage um, where I need it to um, so yeah that is what I've been using and then I have my wing which I've shared before but this is the elf um, liquid liner I think it comes in a pack of two not sure but I'm pretty sure it's like three dollars like so cheap um, so that's what I use for my wing and yeah and then also on with mixing my I use this Laura Mercier translucent powder but I've also been using this a little bit more which is the Charlotte Tilbury I don't know the exact name for it but this is what it looks like it's so tiny I remember what this is called it doesn't say it on the bottom but this is shade medium i, I want to say it's like a filter like something filter it's not exactly like the hollywood filter um or flawless filter but it's like the powder version i'm not sure but um i will put this in the description below but this is like a holy grail i've had this for so long and I know girls that wear like just this like don't wear foundation and they just their skin looks so so beautiful um so highly recommend great I've heard people doing this like as a pressed powder and then using their um setting powder on top of it and that's supposed to help keep your makeup all day so worth a try okay we're gonna keep on the Charlotte Tilbury I don't even know if I'm saying that right Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury um trend today so i'm gonna be using the pillow talk eyeshadow palette it's really more of like a pinky palette and i think this is just so pretty and it's gonna be perfect for valentine's day so we're gonna do this a bit of this lighter pink i'm gonna start off with that and i have no rhyme or reason usually about how like my exact placement i don't use a bunch of different brushes for my um eyeshadow we just kind of go for it the lighting in our bathroom also is just stresses me out so sorry in advance it's like completely dark out so there's no other like light that comes through so this little light thing right up here like there's no light right here it's just up there it, like casts the worst shadows it's not as bad in person but on camera i feel like it's pretty bad Okay, I think that actually might even be a better spot so you guys can see coloring a little bit better. Um, but I just did the base with this pink. And then now I'm going to do this darker kind of like peachy color. And this is going to be on the outside. Now that we've done that, I'm going to do the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to use this. This shimmery like light shimmer it's like a pearly kind of shimmer let me use that on the inner corner and then the last one is this really really pretty it's literally just straight up pink sparkle it's not super like pigmented which i like so i'm just gonna do this on top of the eyelid My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna go charge it so I can take you guys along and show you the finished look and then also take you along for dinner. Okay, this is the final look I have on these super cute shoes. These are like the designer inspired heels from Amazon. And then I have on this adorable, it's like a blazer dress. It's tan and it's so comfortable. Um, I'll link it. It's the Camila Coelho collection. And then I have on this black jacket. I think this one's from Bohm. And then this purse from Amazon too. So this is the final look. Final makeup. I just need to add some gloss because I threw it in my purse. But um, yes, this is the final look with in the dirty mirror that I need to clean. But ready for this meal this is gonna be so good okay about to leave going to put on this lip gloss really quick we ordered an uber and it's gonna be here any minute
This actually isn't a lip gloss. It's like a glossy balm. I got lip mousse in too. Okay, so um, we had to Uber to dinner because out of nowhere, it just started like raining so freaking hard. And so we were like, okay, we're gonna have to Uber. So Connor called an Uber, literally got there and like got here in 30 seconds. So I was rushing out the door and completely forgot my camera. So that is why all of my footage was on my phone from dinner so i was so mad because the food was so good and i like wanted you guys to see how amazing this food was like i really wanted the quality to be good because oh my gosh i wish you could like taste the food through the camera because it was just so freaking good we got some things that we've gotten before and then we tried some new things and just every single thing we were having we we're like this is so good. Um, so I'm so full. Like, we got such good stuff. I think one thing I forgot to video was the chicken tacos. And those were amazing. So if you're local, definitely go to livery if you haven't been. I'm sure most people have been um, if they're local to Indy. But if you haven't, I mean, so, so good. So... Anyways, I'm in the bathroom right now. I just changed into a cozy sweatsuit. This is actually from um, Nudes, I think is what it's called. And so comfy. I'll link it down below for you guys. And um, yeah, so I need to take my makeup off, take my hoops out. The outfit that I ended up wearing, <laughs> I feel like I kept having like wardrobe malfunctions because I was sitting there. And it's like this blazer wrap dress so cute but every time like i moved like a little bit i feel it felt like my was gonna pop out like i was like oh god so i like had my hair all in front like this to make sure everything was all covered um because i ran out of sticky tape i like have no sticky boobs at all so i was just like i guess we're really going for it tonight um <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, um, Connor's downstairs. He's waiting for me as I am rambling and we're going to watch the newest episode of 1923 because apparently it came out on Super Bowl Sunday and I didn't know that. So I thought they were going to like maybe wait a week to release it and it came out. So we're going to go watch that. He just Snapchatted me. Oh, he just sent me a memory from like three years ago. But yeah, oh my God, that, that dinner was so good. So it was a successful valentine's day date night and um kind of like a full day of dates because we had a brunch date and then we had a dinner date and then but we did end up walking home but it was sprinkling a little bit so my hair kind of felt kind of funny and i had on my self tanner that i put on and oh my god <laughs> i have to show this is what my entire leg looks like from all the raindrops so so I'm gonna be rinsing that off <laughs> first thing in the morning. I'm honestly way too tired and it is 10 o'clock and we're gonna watch an episode of 1923 and then I'm going to bed. So that's just, let's hope, let's hope that I don't have any raindrop smears in the morning when I, after I rinse it off. But I feel like it'll be fine since it's just the cosmetic color fingers crossed fingers crossed but all right i'm gonna end off this vlog before i rant anymore <laughs> okay i'm gonna end off this vlog here um i hope you guys had a great valentine's day if you celebrated maybe you did galentine's whatever you did i hope you had a good day and i will see you guys in the next vlog i love you so much